Fairfax County back in the spotlight tonight over two controversial books that parents have been fighting to have removed from school libraries. Now, the books are at the center of a holiday display at a public library that has people divided. Fox 5's Jacqueline Matter live tonight in McLean with more. Jacqueline. Hey, Jim, parents are upset that this holiday reading display here at Dolly Madison Library featured two books that contain pedophilia and obscene images all right alongside the Holy Bible. The books Gender Queer and Lawn Boy were seen in a display case filled with holiday gnomes dressed in stocking hats next to a gnome dressed in a rainbow colored hat while holding the Bible. This all comes just weeks after the books were banned from Fairfax County schools and then brought back after a committee said the content was not inappropriate. A mother who's been at the forefront of this fight in Fairfax County says the display was beyond offensive. It's, it's actually taking a, a dig or a jab at the parents of Fairfax County who had concerns about pornography and pedophilia in the library. Um, and they're taking a dig at Christianity too because it's mocking the Bible. But we spoke to some parents who say otherwise. Frankly, I find it just appalling. I just wonder why it is why it is that parents in this community seem more concerned about what is being taught in public schools, what is being displayed in libraries, than what sorts of arms, weapons are being brought into those very same schools. We reached out to Fairfax County and in a statement from the public library director, Jessica Hudson said, quote, the Dolly Madison Library holiday reading display was intended to highlight the freedom to read and the fact that many library patrons have more time during the holidays to do so. It was not the intention of staff to create a display that could be construed as offensive. The display has since been removed. Langton feels this was no coincidence with the display popping up just days after a recent school board meeting where she spoke. You know, they had full knowledge of what they were doing. It's quite deliberate the way it was set up. Um, it's not accidental. So I think it's very um, odd for that statement to say there was no offense intended because it's very deliberately offensive. But for Huck, he says he's baffled by the mania affecting several parents over these books contents. This used to be a community where people with different political uh, perspectives would coexist, and that is no longer happening. Now, as we mentioned, that display has since changed. We checked and there was nothing in its place when we went inside the library earlier today. Langton says she does not plan to stop pushing for the ban on books here in Fairfax County. In fact, she will be holding a protest on this very issue this Saturday at noon. Back to you.